Next, in the middleweight division, we've got Impa Kasangane versus Joaquin Buckley. This is another great fight. Two guys that are similarly similarly matched. Two guys that are built like freaking tanks at 185. Mm-hmm. Um, both contender series guys. Um, Impa's already fought t- uh, twice this year. Uh, Buckley's actually fought twice as well. He lost his last fight to Kevin Holland. I'm going to go against the grain on this one, man. Uh, Buckley's a, a two to one underdog on this one. I, I actually like Buckley in this fight. I think I think he has a little bit more experience. He's fought in Bellator. Um, I think he can. I think he'll he'll push the pace a little bit more than than Casagnia Casagnia Impa. I'm just going to call him Impa because I'm even going to try to pronounce his last name. <laughs> I think he's going to uh, push the pace a little bit more. And I think he'll be able to neutralize some of Impa's wrestling. And I think he ends up getting it done. Um, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Buck, Buckley with an upset, which I'm a little hesitant to do because last week I was totally off on my upset picks, but this is why <laughs> yeah, we play yeah. the game, baby. But I, I do like Buckley. I think, I think he's getting a, I think he's getting the raw on this stick because the guy's got, a, got some experience. Um, he took a short notice fight with Kevin Holland. So I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and, and, and get, go with Buckley by decision. I think it's going to be a, a, a grinder. All right, for sure. Yeah, no, like you said, these guys are very evenly matched. Both of these guys are athletes. Um, but what it comes down to is uh, I just think Impa is the more versatile striker. I think he's a little bit more technical. Um, and I think he has a, 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 a nice fighter IQ. He's got a nice IQ on him. Um, I just seen him, you know, being able to adapt and just change the way the fight is going um, in his previous fights. But uh, both these guys have kind of similar styles, these forward plotting styles. But I just think Impa is slightly better, a slightly more technical. Um, Joaquin Buckley, with that said, is an athlete in his own right, and he can knock him out for sure. I, I definitely would give the power advantage to him. Um, he throws these wild looping punches that if he, if Impa's not careful, he could get knocked out easily. He does, he has faced the better competition. So you got to give him that. Um, the value is definitely on Buckley. I'm leaning Impa to win the, uh, to win a decision here, but I mean, I don't fault anybody for taking Buckley either, you know, a first round knockout or something like that. Cause I could see him definitely, uh, that happening to, to Impa if he's not careful. So, but yeah, I'm leaning Impa probably a decision. So I'm just going to correct you real quick, Jason, because Buckley is not a contender series guy. Oh, Buckley fought, was okay. He fought and he wasn't. He fought in LFA the week before. That's what that LFA. That's what I'm right. saying. Okay, and, then, gotcha. and then spent a lot of time in Bellator. But good good resume. Uh, fought on big shows experience-wise. Like I, I'd say about the same level. Um, I, 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 where I, I'd like to give Buckley a, a, as a live dog here, you know, uh, because he's – He's really good. He has some good experience, good opponents. Losing to Kevin Holland on a six days notice is nothing to it's not a bad loss by any means on your UFC debut and and, and cutting that weight. Uh, the fact that I fight at the same weight class as these guys, it makes me it makes me feel like I should go down to 145. They're huge. Jeez. But um at the but Impa is I, I think Impa's gonna be too much. He is last fight with uh Maki. Uh mm-hmm. He Maki was hitting him with just hammers and he just wore it and kind of just wore down Maki. And he has a, he has a chin. He throws, he throws his own nukes. And I, he, he, he impressed, he impressed the hell out of me. And I just think that he's going to be a little bit too much for Buckley to be able to handle. I think, I, I don't really think he's in danger of getting knocked out. He looked pretty technically sound. I saw him eat a lot of big shots from Maki. Um, and defensively, he just, I think he's pretty sound. He, he's one of those guys that if he does get hit with a big shot, he makes sure he gets hit with them in places that it won't put him down. And I, I, I think he had a pretty, I think he showed a pretty decent fight IQ and kept a great pace for 185, the pace that he kept on in that, that fight to win that unanimous decision uh, against uh, Maki Petolo. Um that, that uh, he really impressed me in that fight, and because of that, I, I just I have it going to another decision. I've been pretty boring, but I do think this is a pretty good stand up war, and we'll go to a decision in favor of our boy Impa, um, whatever his last name is. So, I don't look at betting odds at all until after I've made my decision for a fight, and then I put them on my notes. Uh, I was shocked to see how far apart this fight is i'm yeah. taking buckley to win and i wasn't hesitant about it 
Um, I'm going to take him in a round two TKO or well, a KO actually not a TKO. I've been taking him in a round two KO. I think as soon as they get a little sweat on him, he's going to catch him with something. Um, the issue that I have with Impa Kasangane, and he is a great fighter. He's a very technical striker. But the difference between being able to take shots from Maki Patolo, who, in my opinion, might be able to just move down to welterweight whenever he wants, and taking shots from uh, Joaquin Buckley is going to be very different. Uh, they have similar fighting styles when they're striking on the feet. Uh, but the difference is that I think both of these guys think that they're kind of a KO artist, and Joaquin Buckley is a KO artist, and Impa Kasangane ends up being a TKO artist. I think he gets a lot of shots in, and he throws a lot of volume, and he's got some heavy shots in there. But I don't think he's got the same level of power as Joaquin Buckley does. I mean, I think it's going to end with Joaquin Buckley just throwing a massive overhand right and eventually catching him with it. He's very athletic. I think he's going to be in good shape. I don't think he's going to gas out before he manages to catch him. So I was pretty confident before I looked at the odds taking Buckley with a, a round two KO, and I'll stick with that. I mean, the odds don't change how I think the fight's going to go. Yeah, that one surprised me as well, but with the odds being that big a part on those two guys, I thought they matched up pretty pretty evenly. Yep. I, and I, I do say this too. I, I think it goes to a decision, but it's a slugfest. I think it's the good chance that's fight of the night. Yeah, good, I, good I, think, chance. I think this is going to be an excellent fight. Um, but middleweight is a great division. You know? Right? Yes. We're the funnest. <laughs>